Good afternoon class. My name is Tiffany Anderson and this is an update for careers for Family 150. For this project I chose to look into case management. Uh, one of the main reasons why I chose to look into this is because um, I have a son who is autistic and I work fairly closely with his case manager or what I like to call her um, our service coordinator and she is she's family um, you know we've been with her for uh, close to 10 years and she knows everything about us and and we're really connected and and so I wanted to see more about uh, what she does in the ins and outs of her job and so um, I asked her what her work environment was and she says you know it's a small organization um, you can make as many hours as you want to work on average um, it's about an hour per client per week so it all depends on how many clients you have as to how much work you're actually putting in to the job you do have to have a bachelor's degree um, to be able to be a case manager but it can be in all ranges of social work um, or human development so really there's a large uh, amount of degrees that you can have and still work as a case manager. She said it is pretty important though to have additional education um, in you know things that are designed to help families with mental disabilities and actually working with people social work instead of just um, human development. Um, the typical stresses of her day is actually really funny when I was asking her that because um, I've known her for so long that I know the different types of people she works with and, and what she sees. So it was, uh, I pretty much could answer that question myself, but uh, her answer to me was parents are the main stressor for her and the unrealistic expectations that they have for their child. Um, that they think that their child should be at a different level than they are or um, they want things that are outlandish that are just not possibilities out there and it's difficult to manage with them. Some of the other things that she talked about is that there really is a lack of resources across the board for children and family members. Uh, the state tries to put each child and family into a cookie cutter which as you know as we study it's just not possible. No two child are the same, no two families are the same, so it's important that things be individualized and there's just not enough research they found or resources that they have found for that. Um, she said managing the levels of expectations of others more back towards the parents or the children sometimes in matters is, is they expect their children or their lives to be here and it's a building block. It's, it's a foundation that you build on. You don't just jump real fast from starting therapies or starting to understand the system and, and know everything. Um, so her main uh, piece of advice that she gave was you need to learn that small successes are big successes. Um, in this job, the things that you see are not going to be huge and magnifying. It's small little steps that you look back over a period of time and realize how much a child or how much a family has grown. The typical benefits for this job, she said, is really nothing financial. Um, most companies don't make enough to pay out benefits or have enough employees and they are not required to. Um, she did say some of the benefits that were really good was the scheduling and the flexibility of her time. She was, is, a single mom of five and um, being able to show up to the kids performances and be there for the children when they need her after school. This job really helped her provide for her family financially and yet gave her the time to be a mom. So I thought that was a, a really good benefit. Some of the common jo job tasks are finding resources for families, setting up things for clients, and uh, breaking down the barriers and that are keeping clients from receiving the benefits that they need. So just making the system work for you instead of you working for the system. Again, the education requirements are a bachelor's in any social field. Um, you also can get a certification in service coordinating, which is helpful. 
Um, and also any additional studies in social work is helpful, they said. The starting salary range is $18 an hour, I should say 16 to $18 an hour, and the experience ranges from 20 to 24 although she said in her company she actually makes about $25, $26 an hour. Um, she said, you know, really when it comes to this job you have to enjoy being with people and you have to not be judgmental. Um, if you don't have good coping skills, you're going to have a hard time and you need to be able to accept the behaviors of others and not take it personal. One of the things that she specifically said is you need to be able to go into a home that, um, you know, has filth all around and it smells like urine and you have to sit down on the couch and, and you have to, you have to not judge them for that and you have to love them and, and be friendly. Um, no matter what circumstance you're placed in. And then also as the case manager, you you receive any of the flack if things aren't going correctly. And so you have to understand that the parents are worried about their children and it's not you personally that they are upset about, but the lack of the resources that are available for them. So the other last piece of advice that she gave us is that you really need to think outside the box when working with children and working in this field. So although, um, it was really interesting to work with her on this as I went through. I know that this is not a career I necessarily want to pursue, nor is most of the levels at a bachelor stage. Um, I'm pretty pretty confident on my need to go on to graduate school to be able to um, perform in what I would really like to teach and, and what I would really like to do. So very interesting, a lot of really great information. Um, but it really helped me solidify my choice in, in what I want to pursue in my education. I hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you next video.